uh, know it to be a diverse population uh, that's made up of Japanese, uh, Chinese, Vietnamese, we have Hmong, um, we have um, people from Nepal, Nepalese, uh, Indian, um, and many of those are groups that I've had many um, opportunities to interface with in different capacities. I've attended events with the different um, sectors of the Asian community and have worked with a number of people in different capacities that I've served on uh, boards with as well. Um, as I said, I've had many touch points and feel like I have a, a good working relationship with people in the Japanese community, in the Vietnamese community, um, in the Indian community, the Nepalese community. And would, what I would do is work to make sure that we have the diversity within my administration in all levels that reflect the diversity of our community and, and would make sure that we have uh, people from the Asian cultures as well. Uh, I don't know if you know Derek Akubo, but he runs our Human Rights and Community Partnerships Office. And um, he's done an amazing job making sure that the Asian community is plugged into all the different things that the city does. Uh, boards and commissions is another place where I would make sure that we have um, Asian representation and especially around issues that have overlapping impact on the community, whether it's through the business side or through you know, any of the human social service side. Important. And we have done a lot within the city to make sure that language justice is an important part of connecting all of our communities that speak different languages with agencies within the city. And so part of that is also looking at hiring people from the different communities to help do some of the translation, whether it's in writing or you know, verbally or having translation at, at community meetings. And so I, I appreciate you raising that part as well because um, that's a critical part to make sure that people are getting things in their language and they know how to access those resources that are available to them. I'm aware that over 11,000 hate crimes against Asians across the United States have been um, reported. And I believe that that's probably not even reflective of those that were unreported. So as mayor, one of the things I plan to do is make sure that we have a good working relationship between our police department and our Asian community. Um, I wanna get back to community policing where officers know the community at the grassroots level and vice versa, so that when people have a, a, a concern or a problem, whether it's directly related to a hate crime or a property crime or you know um, any other kind of crime, that people feel comfortable calling the police and our police are gonna respond. And that we also have officers that speak the different languages as well. Um, I know in Southwest Denver, for example, we have a number of officers who do speak uh, Vietnamese and other, other Asian dialects as well. Um, one of the things I want to do is make sure that we're doing everything we can to get guns out of our streets. That's been a priority of mine. I've worked to adopt legislation in our city to get rid of ghost guns where you can buy parts online and assemble a gun and you know it doesn't have a serial number. Um, I also voted on legislation that gets rid of what is called bump stocks. So it's the, uh, the clip that allows you to have more bullets than what is um, allowable. And so those are a couple of things. I, I want to get back to a program that one of my colleagues started, and that was a gun buyback program. And I think that uh, was very successful. She worked with a, an Aurora City Council person and in both cities they were successful in getting a lot of guns off the streets. And we know a lot of um, young people especially get them from other people. They buy them off the streets. So the more we can remove, I think the safer it keeps our community. So those are a couple of things I would do in making sure that people feel comfortable addressing any of these issues when it comes to any hate crimes. I oppose any kind of hate crime and 
we have um, worked to address that issue, you know, both with the Asian community and we've seen a lot of it with our uh, Jewish community as well. And so I would continue to use the bully pulpit of the mayor's office to, you know, speak out against uh, hate crimes of all types. Absolutely. Um, I have participated in the Lunar New Year over at the Far East Center, um, and I've participated in events over at the, um, the uh, I'm forgetting the name of it, uh, the uh, Little Saigon District down on Federal and Mississippi. Um, really good friends with both Father Joseph Dang and Mimi Long. And they do an amazing job in bringing the Asian cultures together. And uh, I usually am on stage, but I would be more than happy to do a video that would go out to the broader Asian community and have um, various touch points with the Asian community. I, I value the input that our Asian culture has contributed to our community, to our economy. Uh, many of uh, folks in the Asian community have small businesses, they hire individuals, they're providing jobs, they contribute to our tax base. And I, I think we have to celebrate all of our cultures. And so I would absolutely commit to do that.